Hey everybody, hope you all are having a great day. I am off work tomorrow, so I figured I would stay up late and sneak in a few Pokemon battles. This will be battle number 10 with this team. Alright, looks like he has a pretty standard team. Actually, no, looks like he has an all grass team. Um, what if grass? That makes sense. Is there any reason not to lead with Heatran? I don't think there is. Let's do it. Um, I did consider making one change to this team. And that, ooh, he might have Mach Punch. I don't want to eat a Mach Punch, but I also don't want to eat a Spore. Um, I feel like Heatran could be really useful here. Let's bring in Landorus, because even if Landorus is put to sleep, it can still at least intimidate things. Okay, so I would have been okay using Overheat there because of Super Power. Um, so now it has very low attack and... Lower defense. I guess U-turn would be great. Let's do that. All right, gonna take some recoil damage here, but at least I get a free switch in, and I kind of want to bring in Heatran and just do some damage. But I guess I should bring in Magnazone for Hidden Power Fire. Grass is um, a good type offensively, but. Uh, not a great type defensively. It is, I believe, tied with Ice and Rock for the most weaknesses in the game with five. I guess he's protecting for some leftovers, but not going to matter here. I guess he could have like gone for the off chance and gotten a few protects in a row, but that would have been a very low chance. Probably not even worth the time. All right, Braylon is back. I don't know how fast Braylon is. 130 to 262. Um... So probably faster than Magnazone, even with max speed investment. Why do I even... I kind of feel like I should just put all his um, EVs into, like, HP, but... Alright, so I'm going to switch. Last time... Let's bring in Landorus again. The trouble is my healer is Vaporeon, who is, of course, weak to grass. Rock Tomb is going to slow me down. That is less than ideal. But, hey, now his U-turn uh, resist is dead, so let's give this a try. Um, hmm. Alright, I really want to bring Vaporeon to start healing up Landorus, but uh, let's bring in Heatran and just do some damage. So like I was saying, I considered making a change from Overheat to Eruption, because it occurred to me that pretty much every time I used Overheat last night, or not last night, but the last night that I battled, um, Heatran was at full HP or pretty close to it, so Eruption would have done as much or more damage, and uh, it also uh, would have been 100% accurate. Okay, so Kartana is faster and probably knows Sacred Sword, so the trouble is it probably also knows Leaf Blade, I don't know how much Leaf Blade is going to do to Vaporeon. Um, let's bring in Pinsir, I feel like Pinsir is a pretty good Kartana counter, right? I do need to get rid of those stones, though. Ah, okay, so... Um, normal type attack there. And now it has an attack bonus. That's not good. Alright, well, Landorus is getting slowly killed by the stones, but... Uh, you know, I should have used a fog earlier instead of U-turn. Having regrets. Because, yeah, now he's going to faint, and... Um, so now he's back with the attack boost anyway. Okay, that wasn't really smart. Um... I guess I have to bring in Dragonite and break multi-scale, so that kind of sucks. But I don't know what it can really do against Dragonite, so there is an upside there. I really don't want to lose to like an all-grass team, that'd be kind of embarrassing. Let's go for the Dragon Dance, because I'd probably be faster. Oh, I should have... I guess that plus one really makes a difference there. Um, yeah, this is not great at all. Um, I, okay, it has to, okay, it has to recover, so that's good. And it has very low special defense, so let's bring in Magnazone here. And use Hidden Power. Alright, so at least we got the Kartana down. This match is a lot closer than I thought it would be. Um, but anyway, if you give it Eruption, you have to go with a Quiet Nature, because it was an event Pokémon from, I think, one of the Pokémon Ranger games. Uh, I'm not really sure what Venusaur wants to do, so let's just Hidden Power. Earthquake, it does no Earthquake. I should have used my Steel super effective thing then, but 
Um, is there... Should I switch out? Uh, I guess it would be good against Tapu Bulu. But I don't really know if Vaporeon wants to take an Earthquake. I wish I'd saved some of my more important Pokemon here. Uh, let's just go for Flash Cannon. It's not going to happen, but yeah. See, the trouble is, uh, because it's a Mega Venusaur, it's not weak to... Um, to fire. Oh, 6%. So close. And there goes Heatran. So I'm going to lose to an Allgrass team. That Kartana really did number, and I think that was my fault for not giving it the respect it deserves. Um, let me get a... It might not have... Okay. Well, this is not great either, because now it can synthesize, but... I don't really want to go to a Stalwar here. It does have Giga Drain. I was hoping it might not. It might have like a Poison move and a uh, a um, Ground type move. But yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to win this matchup here. I think this is probably a loss. In fact, against three Grass types with only Vaporeon, it almost certainly is. That's really unfortunate too. I think I could have played that a lot better. So not a great start to the night, but. Um, I'm just going to keep Scalding until he faints me. I'll let him finish up the battle. And hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck next time. We'll consider this one a uh, warm-up match. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys again in just a bit.